Hey YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead here coming to you today with a video on the intelligence of plants. And I'm standing in front of this little mulberry here to uh, talk about it and really to illustrate the intelligence of uh, plants and uh, especially talking about trees right now. And uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the scientific research that's out there and some of the stuff that I've experienced that uh, really does show that uh, plants are a lot smarter than we think they are. Now this little mulberry uh, came from uh, an individual down in Louisiana and I'm not really sure where they bought their nursery stock from, but this tree is uh, more than likely a clone uh, it could, could be a seedling too, but wherever it came from, this tree has a memory. And now the scientific research that shows plants having memory is um, one specific study that was done where a tree was put, or no, excuse me, it was, a, it, it was just a regular plant. I think it might have been um, a little sunflower or something. I can't remember exactly what kind of plant it was. But that plant had every day a fan blown on it so the fan would come on and i think it was about a 30 minute interval after the fan came on a light would come on to one side where the fan was coming from and the plant knowing that there was light over there would lean over towards the light well this had been done for several days and after uh, so many days of doing this uh, what the scientists discovered was they would turn on the fan, but not turn on the light. And after 30 minutes of the fan uh, blowing, the plant moved over into the direction where the light would normally come on. Um, we can also see this play out in plants uh, just in, in, in nature. Like, how are they able to remember what uh, day frost came you know last year I mean how, how do they know when to put their leaf buds out and that's one of the things that I realized with this tree in particular was that it had a couple of spots that ended up getting frost bit uh, let me pause the video I got a lawnmower coming here all right lawnmower is heading in the other direction so uh, it had got frost bitten right here and it was because this tree sent out its leaves too early. Now, the older, mature um, <clears throat> mulberry that's on this property sent out its leaves way later. So that's one example of how plants have memory. Now, they also have a lot of other um, sensory receptors. For one, they can sense light. Now, they don't sense light like we do. They've got a very different way of doing that. They've got a different way of, of hearing. Plants can hear. Um, uh, some people think uh, people who talk to plants are crazy so um, I guess that would make me crazy I don't need any, any scientific evidence to prove to me that talking to plants helps um, something about just uh, you know tending to them and them being basically shown uh, for a lack of better words love I mean because you do love your plants they provide stuff for you and you provide for them so showing love to a plant uh, brings up a response in that plant um, and I think talking is one of the ways they perceive that there was a scientific study that was done that had a pot that was shaped like a Y upside down Y um, so you had like two uh, extensions coming out on the pot that had soil in it and on one side of that Y, uh, they played a tape recorder of running water. So this was not anything to do with moisture. Um, there wasn't, uh, you know, they didn't put any extra water in one side of the pot. It was just the tape recorder playing water. So that plant sensed the vibrations of that tape recorder and grew the majority of its roots down to that one side of the pot. Um, there's, there's tons of scientific evidence, and those are just a couple that I can pull off the top of my head that I've heard of studies done. But I've, I've experimented with this stuff myself, 
and realize that the trees that you take care of more and that you, you know, treat, I treat them almost like I would my livestock, not quite. I mean, they are different. They do have different needs. Um, they're not as needy. I don't come out here and feed my trees every day, but as far as, um, pruning and fertilizing, watering, there's a, you know, a ton of things that you can do and especially just setting them up in a good environment that will make your, uh, trees grow and and be prosperous so gonna be a little bit of a, a short video just talking about this mulberry i thought it was interesting that um you know it still had the memory of wherever it was from and uh, it's getting established I, i'm i'm anxious to see if, it, if it's going to remember that this year we had a later frost and if it's going to wait a little bit and put out its leaves with the other larger mulberries so that'll be interesting to see Hopefully I will remember in a year's time and be able to make a YouTube video on it and uh, uh, be able to reference this video back and say, hey, the tree did learn. So if you think about it, trees can learn as well. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, won't go too long in this one. I could talk about this topic for probably another hour, but uh, don't, don't want to make the video too long. But if, uh, if you enjoy this, uh, these kinds of subjects, subscribe to the channel. I drop a video every day. Um, if you got any questions, leave them down in the comments section. If you learned something or if this video was helpful, please leave a like on the video. That helps get it to more people. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one.